Have you ever given thought as to where you like to invest your treasures? Hey everyone, this is Michelle, and for me, uh, one of those places is art supplies. They're stimulating and motivating, uh, not only visually, but they invite us to do, to be more producers rather than consumers, and that is very powerful and incredibly rewarding. Art supplies just scream possibility and originality, and today I wanna share with you one of my favorite art supplies to work with and hopefully get you excited about it as well. And I'm talking about watercolors. Um, I used to mistake think of these as the kid-friendly way to paint but once you dive into all of the different products and techniques and ways to manipulate this is a really exciting magical medium to express yourself with so let's talk watercolors they come in all different shapes and sizes a great place to get started is with a really nice pan watercolor set um, and these two come in different options and different sizes I like to get one that has a nice broad range of colors for you to work with and a tip with these when you get started give it a few shots of water to get all of those palettes nicely moistened and you're ready to start painting uh, another option is liquid watercolors great value with these I love the richness and the intensity of the color that you can of course adjust with the amount of water and you can blend all of your own colors nicely there's also tube watercolors to choose from watercolor crayons watercolor pencils I love these because you can draw out um, some of your different designs layer up the color Color, and then come back over this with a wet paintbrush and then really blend and manipulate and move the color around that way. Some fun tools to have on hand, a squirt bottle with water to manipulate your colors around um, a squirt bottle because you can draw your water and different designs onto your paper, then come back in and add your color that way. A nice eyedropper to either drop the color or drop the water. Water coloring is really all about being kind of a water manager and how uh, that affects the different colors and the blending and then let's talk papers watercolor paper um, they come in cold pressed or hot pressed so it depends you want to work on a smooth surface or a rough surface 90 pound up to 300 pound 90 pounds going to be a thinner paper or 300 pounds going to be a thicker heavier weight type of paper to work on and I always suggest do some sort of a grid sample board where you really uh, play around just play around with moving these colors around different techniques um, in each of these grids and then make no under there um, what your technique was was it wet on wet um, what tool you used but this is a great way to familiarize yourself with the new medium you're going to be playing around with and with watercolors expect the unexpected art supplies naturally lead to art making and art making leads to healthier happier lives